Hi everyone, today I want to show you some 20 year old video from Argentina. This video has the largest freshwater ray from South America and it's kind of unique because it shows just how dense the populations of rays can be in nature. The video is filmed in the Esteros de Libera, a swampy area that looks a lot like the Pantanal, but it is far south in the floodplain of the Paraná River in the Corrientes province of Argentina. The water here drains northwards towards the Rio Paraná and the deeper channels in the region have quite fast flowing water. This footage was filmed scuba diving at a depth of around 5 to 10 meters or 15 to 30 feet. The fast current, old analog camera in a plastic bag housing and cold temperature made filming here difficult. The video is a bit shaky and chaotic but you will appreciate the number and size of these rays. In the channels where the current is strong there are few plants and the fine sand substrate is exposed. There are no rocks here at all, but rather soft white clay. When exposed, the clay gets covered in algae, giving it a rock-like appearance, but it is so soft that one cannot hold on to it in the current without breaking off a handful of cookie dough-like clay. There are a few plecos here, other than the common snow king pleco, Pterogoplichtis anitsitsi. And this is the area that the rays really like. Along the margins and in the shallower parts of the swamps, there are dense masses of plants, of many different species. Some of them grow up to the surface from 5 meters below. Where plants are rooted, rays are rarely seen, but where the plants form a dense mat at the surface and the ground is flat, there are smaller rays and some adults. My guess is that they come to this area to hunt the huge numbers of apple snails present in this habitat, the ideal food for so many stingrays. The astonishing thing here is the incredible density of stingrays. A lot of this is unedited and you can see that the rays are parked bumper to bumper along the bottom. The 40 minute dive had more than 60 stingrays and in the deeper water they are all from 70 to 110 centimeters or 30 to 44 inches. These are Potamotrogon motoro, but these southern variants are not as beautiful as the motoro from the Orinoco or even those found in the Pantanal. They have just small orange spots and relatively few of them. With the sand stuck to their disc, they are really not spectacular in color, but their size is impressive. And the water here is cold, too cold for more than a short swim without a wetsuit, around 16 degrees Celsius. The current in this channel is too strong to swim against it, but along the margins the water is nearly standing still. There are of course other fish in this area, most notably large dorado or salminos brasiliensis, as well as the yellow form of the red belly piranha. Prochilotus linearis, Leparinus obtusidens, very large Crinicicla vitata, Serpe tetras, and the gigantic Pseudoplatistoma coruscans. You may spot some of these fish in the video as well. Local people and fishermen are not very fond of the rays because they can injure their horses or other livestock. Quite often they cut the tail off the rays if they catch them by hook and line and many of these rays are missing their tails or have badly damaged edges of their discs because piranhas and dorados like to bite the soft wings of the rays. The other stingray we could see here is Potamotrogon brachiura, the short-tailed stingray, and the largest species in the genus. Throughout the dive I saw several individuals that were roughly the same size as the Motoro, better camouflaged on the sand but easy to identify because of their typical honeycomb pattern. Much of their habitat is getting destroyed by dredging to allow giant barges to carry soybeans south to the port of Buenos Aires and this species is becoming increasingly threatened by this destruction. Fewer people are keeping rays in the aquarium now, but we saw that nearly all stingray species have been reproduced in captivity and some like the black stingrays from the Shingu in very large numbers. But Potamotrigon brachiura remains an enigma, kept only by a handful of serious hobbyists and perhaps never bred in the aquarium. At the end of this dive, at around 10 feet or 3 meters depth, I noticed the vegetation suddenly crumbling below. At first I assumed a large caiman was tangled in the plants, but quickly recognized an adult gigantic brachiura below. This fish is roughly the same size as I am, 
and must be approaching two meters or nearly seven feet in diameter. This monster is about as large as this Stingray will get, and with modern digital cameras, this would have been much more impressive footage. Amazing to think that this gigantic freshwater ray is the largest fish in the southern part of the continent, but we actually know little about them. Since filming this ray in 2003, I have thought many times to try and return to this place, to see how much better modern digital cameras would capture this incredible fish. If you keep freshwater stingrays, make sure to check out the other stingray videos in the description. If you like our videos, please subscribe to this channel and share them with your friends.